Alright guys, what is going on? It is Super here and I'll bring you guys another character tutorial for Mortal Kombat X. And as you guys see here, I'm doing Quan Cheetle, Quan Chi Chi, Quan Chi, uh, Quan Chi Z, uh, whatever the fuck you want to call Quan. I'm doing a tutorial for him. And uh, Quan Chi is actually a very popular character uh, online, offline, because he's very, very good, man. Um... He has weaknesses, but what makes up for his weakness is his ridiculous offense. He's pretty much like the only character in the game that if he touches you once, the game could be over and you could lose 100% of your life. And I'll show you guys some of the stuff um, and why he's like one of the best characters in the game in the video. I'm not saying that I'm the best Quan Chi player by all means. I actually just recently picked up the character because I, I find him fun to play. I think he's a lot of fun, man, even though he's... Um, you know, he's up there as far as, like, some of the best characters, and a lot of people use him. I think he's really fun to watch, and he's really fun to play. So that's why I've been using him, um, you know, so... Alright, let's get into some of the stuff here. Um, the the big weakness that Quan Chi has is he has no wake-ups. Like, this is the only armor move that he has that's... That... You know, pretty much the only armor move, and it doesn't even have, it's not even good, you know, it, it has a little bit of armor on startup, but, you know, you could easily armor break that, and on the way down, it has absolutely no armor, it could get beat by neutral jump punches, by down twos, you know, so it's not a good armor reversal at all, so... Quan Chi does not have any good armor except for in Warlock, which I'll show you guys, um, you know, in a bit. But right now, the, the variations that I play are Summoner and Warlock. I do know quite a bit about Warlock. I know, uh, you know, some good stuff here in Summoner. It's not too hard, you know, to be honest with you guys. Um, it, to get the big, really big damage with Quan Chi does take some, you know, execution and stuff. And it gets a little tricky to hit off online, I should say. Uh, but the setups and all that, uh, you know, not too hard. So let's get started here with his best pokes. Down one, this is six frames right here. This is one of the buffs that they gave him. You know, they actually, instead of, uh, you know, nerfing him, they gave him a huge buff during the final patch of, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat X. Of course, once Combat Pack 2 comes out, I think he's going to get adjusted quite a bit. Um, but for now, uh, I think I'm doing this December 19th. This is how he is. So down, down one, six frames. It's really good out of getting or... It's really good to get out of like situations where you have enough time to get a down poke out. It is minus nine on block, which is pretty bad, which, uh, you know, it, it's good to balance it out because when they first gave him the down one, uh, the six, six frame down one, I think it was only like minus four, something like that. So the fact that it's minus nine, you know, kind of balances it out a little bit more. So down one, six frames, really, really good poke, obviously. Um, down three is actually very good because it leaves you plus 11 on hit. So that means uh, plus 11, you can start your offense after you hit someone with a down three. Of course, it's a low. It has, you know, good range. Look at this. Look at the hitbox on that. Really good. It moves forward. So down one, down three, the best pokes. Down four is... It's a little deceptive, uh, you know, as far as like the range goes. Look, it has some, it has some pretty good range, and of course, all down fours are like plus twenty on block. So of course, you hit someone with a down four, you know, you could go and start your offense. So, as far as pokes, down one and down three are definitely tops. So now let's get on to his regular buttons and what you know is the main source of his offense, which is back two. His overhead is really fast. Let's see how fast that is. It's fifteen frames. Back to, if you hold it for max time, it actually launches people, which is another buff that they gave him in the last patch. And, you know, you get some crazy setups with his bat and the low, you know, to hit at the same time. And then, you know, you get your, your offense started and stuff. But that'll come in a bit where I'll show you guys that. Uh, but definitely the overhead, you know, into rune. This is actually a true block string. You can armor out of that. Let's put Kung Lao on armor reversal so you guys can see. Cyclone. So back two into EX rune is actually a true block string. Can armor that and your plus. Uh, let's see. The EX rune leaves you plus 14. All right. So the EX rune leaves you plus 14. Really, really good. Um, I don't know if you get. You can't get a back. No, you can't. Not on Kung Lao. Like you have to block that. 
for Kung Lao, but you know, you could bait armor reversal and then you know, start all your offense and stuff. So, this is a true block string, really good. It leaves you plus 14. If your opponent doesn't have armor, that's another mix up they have to take. Uh, but this one right here, back three, this one does have a gap. See, as you guys see, you could easily armor through that. So, for you guys who have maybe have a hard time playing against Quan Chi's, if they do back to back three two into EX Ruin, you could armor the first hit. So you do not need to take that plus 14 after the EX Ruin. You know what I mean? You could just easily armor through that, you know, on reaction if you do block it. So, you know, that's definitely good to know. But let's take him off reversal here. Does he uh another move that a lot of people use is one two, which is a high uh, his jab, let's see how fast his jab is. His jab is 9 frames. This is probably like the best punish, a uh, 9 frame jab. Uh, it's not the best in the world, but you know, Quan Chi at the same time, a lot of people are going to be afraid of him. Like he has this intimidation factor whenever you play against him, especially in Summoner. There are a lot of people, if they're minus, they're just going to block. Like they're going to give you extra frames of advantage because they're so scared of the overhead and the low. You know, so if you do like... You know need a punish you're probably gonna have more time than like using other characters because uh, you're playing or people are scared to play against Quan Chi but you know the best punish is definitely standing one because it is nine frames and it actually leads into one two which is a low you know a lot of people get caught by this because it doesn't look like a low right but it is a low and uh, I believe this has a gap right yeah this has a gap as well so if you do block that and Quan Chi players try to you know, do an EX rune after, you could easily armor through it. So, those are something that you could do. Those are, you know, things you could do against Quan Chi. This is supposed to be a fucking Quan Chi tutorial. So, let me show you guys actual, like, Quan Chi stuff. So, back three, two, four. You know, it's a launcher, a launcher combo. It is negative on block. I believe it's negative 14. So, you could definitely punish that if you block this. I think uh, back three, two is also, like, minus 11. Yeah, let's check that, actually. Yeah, back three, two is minus 14. Back three, uh, two, four is minus 14 as well. So obviously you could, you know, it's very punishable. So if the person commits to the string, you know, definitely uh, make sure you punish them. They're going to think twice about like committing to the full string. But of course, you know, if you are actually playing as Quan Chi, you know, you do this launcher into four into trance, you know, um, uh, this is a little hard to get online because of lag sometimes uh but of course neutral jump punch back two has so much range you know you could start your offense and uh if you want to keep it safe definitely do the four like just wait till they come down a little bit do the four into the trance you know you could do whatever you want after that so uh the main things that Quan Chi has is one two for punish you could also like try to mix people up like that because the second hit is a low uh back three two four you know it, really good combo starter launcher and of course your overhead really fast you could commit to it you don't need to waste meter on a rune you know this is really good for whiff punishing if you like jump jump over someone like Takeda and they're doing their special or if they're doing their combos that you know they commit to uh you could definitely whiff punish them with like just back to raw trance and you know start your offense and stuff so those are like the best things for Quan Chi back three combo starter overhead standing one two you know really really good anything could go into the ex rune and of course it sends them you know it launches them up in the air you could do back two or for a little bit extra damage you could do back one two and it sends a little bit further you know so you have to be a little bit quicker but you know of course you could get a little bit more damage if you do have the execution it just takes a little bit of practice um, you know, I still sometimes like fail on getting the bat out because it is actually uh, a little tricky for me uh, But let's get into it puggles uh, the bat the trusty old bat this fucker is really annoying to play against and he is amazing to play with so he doesn't go away on block um, You know, there is a little bit of cooldown as you guys see I try to call it right there and I can't call it You know before you could actually immediately call it after you send them out, which was insane but now they actually, uh, you know, balance it out a little bit more. It actually, uh, you know, takes a little bit of time to get out. As you guys see there, probably like a full second. Maybe 60 frames. Maybe a little bit more. Second and a half, maybe, of cooldown time. But Puggles is really important to Quan Chi's offense because he goes low. 
you you press left trigger and you know down and it sends them low you just press left trigger by itself it sends them straight you press back and left trigger it sends them flying up it's like it's not a low but it's just like a sort of an anti-air it's really good for anti-air and you know as you guys see it goes up and it's pretty good anti-air you know if you're blocking your opponent is jumping you know you could send that bad boy and uh you know hit confirm into something um and last one is this one which no one uses it's uh down forward and three you know it just puggles just bites at the jugular that's like for style points if you are finishing off your opponent he has a little bit of life just send puggles out it looks really really cool but literally there's no use for it Unless it's a game ending situation, you know this is unbreakable, so of course you could get that. But, you know, why go for that when you can go for something like that, you know what I mean? So, that's Puggles right there. Uh, let's get started on some setups that you guys can use as summoner. So, let's just say you get a back three combo, right? So, back three, four, into trance. What you want to do, of course, is call your bat, and he's still going to be in the trance state, so... What a lot of Quan Chi players do is they use four because four actually leaves you. Standing four leaves you. Where is this? Standing four leaves you plus 19 on hit. So plus 19, you could do anything, right? So you get your bat out. Standing two, you could go for overhead. You could run up. You could go for a low. And then you could use puggles to mix people up. So it's called the bat. You know, you could do this, you could send Puggles low, go overhead, immediate overhead low. Look at this. Look at that. How fast is that? Who's going to block that, right? Who's going to block that 100% of the time? And that's just one mix-up. See, this is a dirty one that a lot of people use. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so hard to block. It's ridiculous. Look at this. Low to overhead. Insanely fast. Maybe you have two frames, sometimes even one if you time it properly. It is so hard to block. And that's just one setup that you could do, of course. You know, you get them in your back three combo. Okay. Four, come out. There you go. Four. Sometimes you don't even need to do the four. And, you know, you could just do that. Here again. And you could loop that over and over. A lot of people are not going to block that. But that's just one setup. Um, another setup that you could do is actually a crossover setup. Uh, when you're crossing over, you press down. And then you press uh, jump one. And it hits overhead and low. Or low overhead depending on what your timing is. That was overhead low. That was low overhead. And, you know, you could do that. Uh, it's really good. Just take some time. That's another uh, really dirty setup right there. Um, another one that people like to use as popular is uh, just holding back two and pug and sending puggles out. And it's it actually hits low first, so that means you get the full launcher. Let me show you guys right now. You hold it for a little bit, puggles hit some low, and then you get the full back charge. A lot of people are gonna have a hard time blocking that, so. You know, that's another setup for you guys. Alright, so... Uh, man, there's just so many setups with Quan Chi. So, you get someone in the trance, right? There's another setup that you could do. Four overhead skull. Um, puggles down. Puggles uh, low. You actually have to practice this because uh, you only have a couple frames to do it before it resets again. So, let me show you guys again. Do four overhead... There you go. Four overhead. If you actually get the overhead, um, you know, Skull's going to hit him. Puggle's going to hit him. And then you're going to do back two into trance. And that's going to lead to a ton of fucking damage. That's just off one reset. Here, let me show you guys. Um, get this. That. It's a little hard to time. Nope. As you guys see, that was too slow. There you go. All right, so that was 46% off a reset, off an overhead reset one bar, okay? 46% and that was, it, you're pretty much gonna get like a, a 
you know, a full combo into a trance before. So let's just say you, you hit a combo before, um, you know, that's what, 20%, something like that. Let's just say a simple combo, combo into trance, and then you reset, and then you get a 46% combo with one bar. Yeah, that is crazy. You could, you could go low as well. You guys have probably seen me do these in, uh, you know, videos. There you go, 45% off a low reset. Ridiculous, right? So, you know, there's just so much you could do. Like, your whole, the whole, everything you want to do with Quan Chi is just to land one hit. You know, a jump in. Jump in into overhead, into EX Rune, into Trance, you know, this, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the deal. Um, all you need is one touch. One touch, whiff punish, a whiff punish standing one into Trance. Uh, you know, just pretty much anything that you get. Like, maybe you get uh, Quan Chi's 5-frame neutral jump punch. This right here is 5 frames. 5 frames going up. It start, you know, the hitbox starts at 5 frames. So, a lot of people, when, since Quan Chi doesn't have a wake-up, you know, this is a, not a bad option. Like, if people sometimes do not expect you to just do a... You know, neutral jump punch on wake up. And of course, you get a neutral jump punch, you could catch people and, you know, start the Quan Chi vortex pretty much. So there's just. Quan Chi's offense is a lot of fun for me. I have a lot of fun playing with him. There's just so much you could do. And uh, that's just off one reset. Let's just say I, I hit that neutral jump punch, that's 80% of his life gone. So, you know, pretty much with uh, Summoner Quan Chi, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Like, the execution does take time. Trust me, like, you're not going to pick this character up. Unless you already have, like, execution with other characters, you're not going to pick this character up and just start hitting all these insane combos and, like, mix-ups and, like, timing the mix-ups right so they could be really hard to block. Uh, you're definitely going to have to experiment with it and, um, you know, just play against people because uh, that's how you get the experience. That's how you get uh, the timing right for your setups, just playing against people. And uh, that's what Quan Chi's all about. So one hit and your opponent could potentially be dead, you know, unless he has a breaker, of course. But um, that that's about it for Quan Chi uh, Summoner. You know, like I said, uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff you could do. Um... It just takes some practice. I showed you guys some really good setups with him. Uh, there's more, like this one right here. Nutra Jump Punch into low bat. And then, uh, you know, you could either time it to where your overhead comes out first or your low comes out first. So if at the peak of my jump, I signal Puggles to go low, that means the low is going to hit first and you're going to get a launcher. A launcher combo. And of course, I could do the neutral jump punch. I could send out puggles a little bit. Um, you know, I could still send out puggles at the peak of my jump, but you know, I could input the neutral jump punch first, and that'll be overhead first and then low. You know what I mean? So there's just a lot of stuff you could do with Quan Chi. I'm not timing it right right there. There you go. Gotta work on the timing a little bit. And uh, that was a low overhead. See, 22% already. And you know, you could, if you have a bar to spend, 38% off a, you know, almost unblockable low to overhead. Right there, that was almost instant. You guys saw the, the uh, you guys saw the signal of the hits right there. That was almost instant. So there's just so much, so many setups Quan Chi has. You know, you can go low, low. On wake up, uh, this is something that I've seen a lot of people do. Uh, the person wakes up, you go low with puggles, and you do down three, and it's still combos, and then you go overhead. So really, really sick. Here, let me show you guys a, a nice combo in the corner for Quan Chi. See if I could actually get this. Kind of rusty right now. I just got off Black Ops 3, so I haven't even been playing right now. Um... Let's just say you get someone in this combo right here. I'm going to keep it simple right now. Nope, not that. I did the wrong one. <laughs> Don't need you, Puggles. Don't need you right now. See, let's just say I get someone in back three combo. Do four. Overhead. Damn it. This one's actually pretty hard. So let's just say I knock someone down. 
Here we go. I'll do a modified, easy version of it. There you go. That's a modified version of the combo. 58% into a hard knockdown. This actually ends in a hard knockdown. And you could call it, it's a free call of puggles. So, hard knockdown. Low, low overhead. Uh, you know, hard knockdown. Low to overhead. This is not the combos, by the way. I'm just showing you guys, you know, different setups. But you get this. Free puggles. And, you know, you could just do pretty much whatever. There are setups that Quan Chi has to be able to break armor. You could do this with the low, too. See if I can get the other one real quick. Um, this one is actually pretty hard. That's why execution is all you need to work on with Quan Chi. Let's just go with this. I think this is going to be the same. 58, 59%. Yeah, this is actually a worse combo than the other one. It did 2% less. So, oh, it's because it was off the low starter. That's why. Still, off a low starter with one bar. Come on. 56% with one bar off a low starter. <laughs> it's, uh, qu yeah, Quan Chi's offense is probably the best in the game. His defense is probably the worst in the game, but... You know, it's a trade-off, you know what I mean? No wake-up for... To be able to, like, hit someone one time and take 100% of his life. Yeah, that's... Um, I think that's a pretty good trade-off for me. Uh, so, that's pretty much going to be it for the Summoner. Uh, this... Never do this, guys. Just... Unless, maybe it's a game... Late-game situation where you could chip them. Like, just never do this. I, I see a lot of Quan Chi's just throw games away trying to do this. This is absolutely no good. Uh, so you, what you want to do with Quan Chi is use meter burn interactables to get out of stuff. You know, there's a lot of different maps that have uh, interactables in which you could get out of the corner with. Use that, meter burn it, you're going to absorb a hit of armor, but you're going to get the fuck out of the corner. Because that is the last place that Quan Chi wants to be in the corner. He has really good zoning, you know, with Puggles, with the runes. The runes actually have a lot of hits done. You could do meter burn rune. Um, you know, you could just do a lot of stuff. Um, full screen with Quan Chi. He has actually some of the best the space control when it comes to full screen presence because of puggles, because of this, you know, the rune. It's just so much you could do. So uh, that's going to be it for Summoner. Um, the only difference with Warlock, to be honest, is a couple of things. And let me show you guys right now. I should have probably just... Uh, had one summoner and one warlock but i wanted to show you guys um you know some of the strings that have holes in them with quan chi let's go back to the quan chi palace here so pretty much warlock is a lot of fun like i think all variations are fun uh i, I don't play sor sorcerer at all uh if you guys want to know how to play sorcerer definitely check out uh pnd ketchup because he is pretty much the person who came up with all the tech for sorcerer so definitely check him out but as far as um warlock you know the only difference you're still gonna want to go for your 50 50s you're still gonna want to do all that um let's see wh which one is it i was trying to call the bat i was trying to call the bat guys this is the only difference right here. You actually have a wake up. And it's a pretty fucking good wake up as far as like uh, speed goes and frames. I think it was nine frames, right? Nine frame wake up. Let's go double check that, shall we? Um, 11 frame wake up, okay. So this is 11 frames, it's not bad. It is punishable on block, of course, but it is a low. It is deceptively quick. A lot of people are not gonna you know, really expect you to do this. Well, if you are playing Warlock, I mean, there's only one reason you would pick Warlock instead of Summoner, and that's obviously the wake up. So pe more people are gonna expect you to wake up, um, but you could interrupt uh, strings that have gaps in them with this, you know? So it it's always nice to have a wake up and of course you know it leads to it leads to a full combo pretty much i haven't played with warlock since they actually patched 
something that used to be really good with him but you know you could uh, do your meter burn reversal and so full combo is pretty good man it's always nice to like I said have an option to go to that um, that's going to lead to a full combo. 28% for a reversal. That's pretty fucking good. So something else that he has that's really good is actually this right here. This is a full screen 9% mid that actually has a, a good amount of hits done. Like, I get caught with this a lot um, because it, it's pretty fast. It's a mid. You can neutral duck it. I don't even think Johnny Cage is down four can neutral duck it or, you know, sub-zero slide don't quote me on that, but, you know, I think this is actually a true mid, unduckable. And like I said, um, mix in this with the um, with the skull and stuff, and you're going to have your opponent mindfucked because it has a lot of, um, it has a lot of uh, block stuns. So your opponent's going to be trying to do something after he blocks that. You could actually catch him with that. You could catch him with a rune. Uh, so definitely this is really good for space control man and to annoy your opponent man when I play against warlock Quan Chi's or when I'm using warlock I annoy the hell out of people with this because it's really good and that's nine percent Say he takes two of these Two of these that's 18 percent of his life another one another one look at his life just drain Because a lot of people don't expect someone to have a full screen mid that does nine percent So that's something really really good for him uh, Of course you have your portal grab this is what you want to end your combos with. With uh, this variation of Quan Chi. And what's the last thing that he had? Is it this one? Okay, there you go. So one thing this Quan Chi has is he actually has a true vortex if you um, spend the bar meter. So let's just say I get one of these. And wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, I was like, wait, I forgot how to fucking play with this Quan Chi. Okay, so let's say this. I get that. That leaves him in a state of, um, you know, in, in a recovery state. So you pretty much have 95. 95, okay? You have 95 frames of advantage before they could do anything. They have to take either your, your low or your overhead or your grab because you're spending a bar of meter to leave them just standing there and they have to, you know, pretty much take it. They can armor reversal through it. They could take a grab, of course, um, but you know, you end your combos like this and then you get a free 50-50 that could lead into another EX if you have it. You know, so that's nice to have for this one. This variation is meter dependent, like really meter dependent because not only do you have this, which you want as a Quan Chi player, you know, that that's the reason to pick this variation. Like you don't pick it for this because if you want to have vortexes, you pick summoner for that. What you want to pick this Quan Chi for is for the reversal. So you're definitely going to want to have meter for your meter burn reversal because like I said, that's why you pick this variation, but it is nice to have this a guaranteed 50 50 you know really really good do that another one and then you grab you know so it's always nice to have like a like a move that's going to leave you plus 95 you know uh it does cost a bar of meter but in my opinion, it is worth it if it's a situation where you could actually kill your opponent with the next mix-up. So, in my opinion, it's pretty good. So, that's going to be it for the Quan Chi tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video. And also leave a comment if you guys have any questions about the characters. So, that's going to be it, guys. I will see you later.